Hey everybody, Dave Monahan here, Goods and Tools and Supplies, and time again for another episode of Tech Lab Tuesday. Today, we're going to talk about uh, valve spring compression. Yeah, you can't do anything until you get these cylinder heads apart. You've heard me say in the past, you can't machine it till you clean it. Well, you can't clean it till you get it disassembled. We offer you a variety of different ways to take cylinder and of course, you know, you've heard me say this before. I can take about any cylinder head apart with a socket and a hammer. But I don't sell sockets and hammers. But uh, I did want to let you know some of the uh, benefits and differ differences between the various bound spring compressors that we offer. We, we offer four of the traditional C frame. Uh, we make all these uh, uh, here in Minnesota, so we're, we're happy to save them. Uh, but I want to start off with a manual uh, valve spring compressors first. And, and a little tip I want to give you is to take your dead blow hammer anytime you, most of the time you're going to pre-clean this workpiece, throw it in the jet washer, get all the chunks and the crap and everything else off of it. And then you want to go back through and hit these tops of these with a dead blow hammer. Don't use a metal to metal, use a dead blow. What that does is kind of jar loose the the uh, uh, the stickiness that happens, the dried oils from the heat and what have you, actually kind of hang on to the retainers in the keeper area there, and, and, and it just makes it a whole lot easier to get that thing apart uh, after you give it a little bit of persuasion in the equation all the way through. I wanted to show you first our CF-1500. This is our manual spring compressor. It's uh, all square steel uh, material makeup. We've got adjustable with these quick release pins so we can move this up and down according to the width of the cylinder head we happen to be working on. Over center clamp here uh, makes it easy to manually compress those valve springs that are out there. This has a rating of probably 400 pounds. If you've got 400 pounds or less, this is a good go-to manual valve spring compressor. It works very, very simple. You've got a big cup here that's going to uh, enclose that uh, retainer. It's got a hole so we can get at the uh, keepers themselves, and uh, it's really quite simple to get it up here on the cylinder head, best that I can. Get it centered up on the center of your intake or exhaust valve. Simply compress it, and you can see I've got those keepers exposed right here. Wide open for me to get in there, snake those keepers out of the way, remove that retainer, that spring, that valve stem oil seal, push that valve out of that guide bore, and move on down to the next succession, boom, 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 all the way through. So this is our, our CF-1500. Like I said, about 400 pounds is what you're going to get out of that particular unit. The other manual unit we have, as you can see, well, gosh, Dave, that looks like it's a giant welding frame. And you're right, it is a giant welding frame, but very unique here is this receiver end. Joe Mondello actually originally designed that receiver end, and uh, so we manufacture that uh, under his design, and it works the same way. Only now we've got this giant uh, screw. It's a little bit heavier, but this CF-1300 will do 1,000 pounds or better of uh, valve springs that are out there. Works in the same general principle you got to open up the, uh, the frame, position that uh, retainer uh, compressor on top of that retainer, get your uh, stop on the other side right in the center of the intake or the exhaust valve, and then you simply just crank it on down. Top fuel guys really like this because when they're changing and servicing those cylinder heads between rounds, this thing is you know just as hot as popcorn, and uh, they can clamp it down. Both hands are free, they can get in there to remove and replace uh, these retainers, or excuse me, these keepers uh, right here. And uh, the thing is that once you compress it, it stays put right there. So, again. Okay, so we orientate our keepers back into the keeper grooves on that valve, and then we can just release the pressure. And we've got that valve assembly put back together. So this is our, this, like I said, this is our CF-1300. It's about a thousand plus pounds. So again, a good, robust, heavy duty, and it does have some weight to it as well. Keep that in mind. It's key to success is this aluminum uh, retaining compressing valve. 
The other two units here, and I hate to turn my back on you here, are pneumatic units. We make these right here in Winona, Minnesota. This is made out of 6061 T6 aluminum. This is some heavy duty stuff. Stainless steel rams all the way through. Notice how we made it fully adjustable down this beam. This uh, CF2002 uh, has a maximum of about uh, seven and a half inches of throat open here, between here and here all the way through. Uh, brass buttons and, uh, you know, these stainless steel rams that give you additional life. You've got a speed control valve right here. I wanna bring that up to speed. You can adjust this and that'll tell this ram how fast to push this in and out. Goes real fast, kind of spooks some people. Other times it, it doesn't. So that's why we give you the choice to adjust the speed of this ramp traveling in and out. But it still works on the same uh, principle all the way through. It's got an adjustable uh, uh, retainer uh, unit here. And uh, so we can take this, adjust that accordingly, set it on top. Hit that and quickly because these are light springs these are good up to about 325 pounds of spring pressure but once again it quickly efficiently compresses that spring and then on the return we're back to it once again so fully adjustable up and down the beam designed for your automotive chevy and ford applications up to 325 pounds of spring pressure the other one that we've come up with that we also make here in winona minnesota is our adjustable diesel unit. This is our CF2008. Do a quick change of my air, airline here. And this one, and you can see there's a there's quite a bit of a physical difference between these two. This opening here can go up to 12 and a half inches and this throat opening here is considerably larger to get over the width and dimensions of these larger diesel cylinder heads. But again, the same thing's happening. We've got an adjustable uh, adapter here on the front for the retainers. And uh, again, we can go ahead and compress that valve spring and get it uh, disassembled, reassembled all the way through. Fully adjustable, 6061, T6 aluminum, big throat opening here, stainless steel ram for those diesel applicators. The final one that we have is our big killer, and that's our pneumatic. This is also 6061 T6 aluminum, and this is the Goodson version uh, for up to a thousand pounds pneumatic. This is a dual stage uh, compressor, and it, it, it functions a little different than other valve spring compressors that you've used in the past. Uh, we've got solid rings here because of the extreme pressure exerted on these uh, go fast big inch motors. Uh, a little bit of adjustability here and here to open up this throat. We've got a Delron cap on here to protect so we don't mar those high end uh, titanium valves that cost you know an arm and a leg over $150 each. But the cycling of this one's a little bit different. We still gotta line everything up. We get to the pressure point of it, and then we have to cycle it. We have to actually cycle it. By cycling that, we're able to get this dual stage ram to multiply itself to give us the necessary pressure up to a thousand pounds. We certify every one of these going out the door uh, with our own uh, in-house testing device. And uh, that way we know for a fact that uh, it'll actually handle that weight. So keep that all in mind uh, when you're going through your assessment of what you need in your machine shop. Manuals for Chevy and Fords up to about 400 pounds. Manual for the big inch motors, 1,000 pounds plus. Uh, air over, high, over hydraulic rams uh, with regards to a 1,000 pound uh, material. And then we've got the adjustable up to 325 pounds. So our job is to give you guys a choice because these springs come in different heights, different dimensions, different configurations, and of course, big ones and small ones. These valve spring compressors are all designed to be used with the overhead valve uh, applications, not that multi-valve overhead cam cylinder head. 
because that's what we had that CF500 for that we showed in one of our earlier episodes. So again, our job is to give you a choice and that's what we've done here with regards to the Goodson brand of bow spring compressors. So have any questions, give us a call 1-800-533-8010 or catch us on the web at goodson.com. I wanna say thanks for watching this episode. We'll see you next time.